This is soft coral, also known as octocorals. They're the under-researched and overlooked cousin to your classic hard coral, but no less important. A marine biologist, Rosie Steinberg, in Australia has developed a new technique to protect it better. They provide tons of food and shelter for other species. They grow really quickly, so they're good at recolonizing after a major disturbance, such as like a big cyclone or a bleaching event. Um, and honestly, they're just beautiful and they deserve all the research that hard corals get. Steinberg's technique is based on doing a soft coral health check. This identifies which corals are most in need of protection from marine heat waves. If you tried to just protect everything all at once, you'd run out of money in 10 seconds. <laughs> you'd run out of money, you'd run out of people, you'd run out of everything that you need, all your resources. So you need to know specifically, like, yes, these are the species that we need to protect. These are the species that are gonna be fine no matter what we do. And that's kind of the importance of going through and looking species by species by species. How does a health check work? The first step is to grind up wet frozen soft coral samples to create a sort of puree. You blend them down and then you put them in a centrifuge, which is basically a giant box that spins them super fast. And what that does is it pulls down the heaviest things, which are the algal cells, and leaves all of the other stuff, like the coral protein, up in the water. And that way I could take the cells out and count them and I could keep that water that has all the protein and see how much protein was in the corals as well. The levels of protein, cells of algae and chlorophyll all indicate how healthy the coral is. Steinberg's research shows that generally soft corals took longer to bleach than hard corals. Steinberg hopes that the ease of this new technique will encourage more scientists to include octocorals in their research, which will create a better overview of the status of reefs. She says the technique can also be used to identify the health of other marine animals that use algae. There's so many like marine animals that use algae, like there's jellyfish and there's anemones and there's sponges, there's tons of stuff, and all of them can bleach, every single one. So it is important to have these techniques that aren't just for the main species that we look at, which is hard corals, because hard corals are pretty actually surprisingly easy to test all this stuff.